तो चार बातें हमें क्लियर हो गई गाइस फर्स्ट फुल एक्सपेंशन फर्स्ट थ्री टर्म्स रिक्वायर्ड टर्म मिडिल टर्म एंड टुडे गाइस वी आर स्टार्टिंग विद द को एफिशेंट रिक्वायर्ड बहुत बार पासिबर में क्वेश्चन आता है कि फाइंड द को एफिशेंट ऑफ एक्स स्क्वायर एक्स क्यूब एक्स पार एट और फाइंड द टर्म इंडिपेंडेंट ऑफ एक्स तो हाउ डू यू केटर दो टाइप ऑफ क्वेश्चन so guys here's the question and i need to find the coefficient of x square in such situations aap hamesha likh dete ho guys main aapko formula recall karata hu ncr an minus r br so you're going to write 9 cr let r be r only what's the first term 1 9 minus r and what's the second term guys x power r now what coefficient is required x square so focus on x focus on x guys now listen to me very carefully if you focus here bachche x ke sath kya power likhi it's r and what's required to you x square So you are supposed to write x power r is equal to x square. Now, can you cancel x and x easily? So you'll be left with r is equal to two. Now you're going to write this as nine c two. What's first term one nine minus two and x power two. So my answer will be nine c two. That's equal into thirty six into one into x square. So if I notice, I'm going to get this as my answer thirty six x square. So now in the final answer, you're going to write down the statement that the coefficient of x square is thirty six. Guys, required term me r is one less. Middle term is only possible if the power is even and r is what n upon two. When any coefficient is required, write down the entire formula and let r be r only. Then you need to compare with x and find the value of r and then solve. Let's do more examples on this. Now these are the two questions. In this question, I need to find the coefficient of x square. So I'm going to write this as seven c r x seven minus r. Minus two power r, right? Now you focus on x only. What's the power of x? It's seven minus r. And what's required to you guys? X square. So can you cancel x and x? Yes. So it's going to be guys seven minus r is equal to two. That's equivalent to what? Five is equal to r. Now you're going to plug in seven c five x seven minus five minus two power five. My answer will be seven shift c five. That's twenty one into x square into minus two power five makes minus thirty two. So twenty one into minus thirty two is equal into minus six seventy two x square. So if you notice that the coefficient of x square will be minus six seventy two, right? Now let's try this one. It's going to be guys eight c r x eight minus r two upon x power r. Now this is challenge. You focus on x only. So what's x? If I notice here, x power is eight minus r. Now focus on this one. If you notice, x is in the denominator. Now see, it's two upon x power r. If I bring x in the numerator, it's going to become x minus r. Do you agree? My focus is not two. my entire focus is on x so in this part in the second term x power is minus r do you get this and what's required to you x square 
So it's going to be x 8 minus 2r is equal to x squared. This and this cancel out. 8 minus 2r is equal to 2. 6 is equal to 2r. R value is 3. Now let's plug in 3 here. So it's going to be 8c3 x 8 minus 3 and 2 upon x power 3. My answer will be 8 c3 multiply by 8 that's equal to 448 x power 5 divide by x cube. So if I cancel this I'll be left with 448 x squared. So the coefficient of x squared is what? 440. Aap khudhi dekho answer automatically aapko coefficient of x squared dekho. Once you get till this point let's do two more examples. Now it's going to be bache aapka 9cr 2 9 minus r x square power r. Now you focus on x only. What's the power of x? It's 2r. And what's required to you? Coefficient of x power 4. x and x cancel out. 2r is equal to 4. r key value is 2. Now you're going to plug in. 9c2 2 9 minus 2 x square power 2. Let's do this guys. 9c2 multiply by 128 that's 4608 x power 4 so automatically I got the coefficient of x power 4. Let's do last example of this. If it's written guys x power 9 so it's going to be 12 cr 1 12 minus r x cube power r. Now what's required you focus on x so it's 3r. But required to me is x power 9. x and x cancel out 3r equal to 9. r is equal to 3. So I'm going to write this. 12c3 1 12 minus 3 into x power 3 into 3. So my answer will be 12c3. That makes 220 x power 9. So guys, I hope you are clear with finding coefficient. One more thing I need to add here. Sometime examiners want you to find the coefficient of the term independent of x. Independent of x means you need to find out coefficient of x power 0. Whenever it says find the term independent of x, that means you need to equate to what? x power 0. Like here we are equating to x power 4, we equate to x power 0. Sometimes the examiners tell you to find out the coefficient of 1 upon x squared. How do you figure this out? You bring this x in the numerator so it becomes x equal to minus 2. So instead of writing 4, I'm going to write what? x power minus 2. Do you get this? I hope finding coefficient is clear to you now. Okay, now last three concepts are there. First, we're going to cover the two concepts and then we're going to practice past paper questions. Once we have solid grip of past paper questions, then only I'm going to teach you the last concept, okay? So let's begin with our third last concept. Guys, the first part of this question is examiner asks you to expand this. Aapko full expansion aati hai, 5c0, 5c1, 5c2 and you got this entire thing as your answer. In the next part, examiner can ask you to solve this 1.01 power 5. Kuch bachche soch rohenge, sir, yeh toh mein direct calculator se kar lunga. But no, it's written hence or intense. Which means you need to connect to the first part of the question. Now, I'm, how I'm going to connect to the first part of the question, guys, focus. Guys, if I notice, what was the power here? 5, 1 plus x power 5 and what's the power here 1.01 power 5 the examiner will always give you the same power first of all I'm going to cancel this 5 and 5 and then 
I'm going to solve for x. So 1 plus x 1.01. The value of x will be 0.01. Give me the value on. Once you get this value, you're going to write this in this expansion. In this expansion, plug in 0.01. And then answer you get in the calculator will be your final answer. Write this entire thing in the calculator. I guess answer is 1.05. You get till this point, but you... okay now it was it was an easy concept. Now let's move to the next thing. This is second last concept. Sometime the examiner gives you three terms. What does word by means two terms? So in that case, bache, aap is two terms ko pehle ek term substitute karte. Let y is equal to x plus x square. So instead of x plus x square, you write 1 plus y power 5. Now you're going to expand this 5c0, 5c1, 5c2, 5c3, 5c4, 5c5. Mujhe answer yaad hai, that's why I'm writing it directly. 1 plus 5y plus 10y square plus 10y cube plus 5y power 4 plus y power 5. Now, once you are done till this point, now replace y again with x plus x square. Let's do that. 1 plus 5 x plus x square plus 10 x plus x square power 2 plus dot 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 why aren't we doing it further because we need to expand minimum till what x square so let's expand this 1 plus 5x plus 5x square plus 10 if I expand this bracket x square plus 2x cube plus x power 4 do you get this so ye ho jayega aapka 1 plus 5x plus 5x square plus 10x square and you don't need x cube and x4 so you're going to ignore that so yeah aap ka a jayega 1 plus 5x plus 15x square plus dot 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 did you get this so this was the second last point of this chapter after this now you have the entire concepts of the topic except one concept after this you need to know how to tackle passable questions. If you have all the concepts, then you will get stuck in passable questions mein initially. Stuck ho but if you watch my next video, trust me, all problems will be sorted out and you can attempt all the questions except one which involves N the unknown jo concept we have not studied yet. You are going to see that in the next video. Till then, take care. Thank you.